The defending champions Brazil were up against the host nation Chile in the second round of group matches in the blind football competition. There were five players on each team. The four outfield players were visually impaired and the ball contained a shaker so the players could hear it move and when it was kicked. Brazil were playing in yellow, Chile in blue. If the ball hit the fences at the side of the pitch, it was still in play, but once it went behind the end line, it was out of play. Brazil had beaten Mexico in their opening match while Chile had lost to Argentina. As the referee blew his whistle for half-time, the score was nil-nil. The result was going to be decided in the second half, and Chile's supporters were hoping to help their team pick up their first win in the competition. Brazil opened the scoring in the second half. Great tripping by Ricardo Mendes and a brilliant shot to beat the Chile goalkeeper, Diego Urquiola. That was only the second goal Brazil had scored in the competition. And brilliant running here from Raimundo Mendes. Even though he lost his balance, he got a shot in, but Chile had a problem. The ball was now stationary, the players couldn't hear it, and Mendes recovered to make the score 2 0. Great goal, Mendes is second of the competition and Brazil were on their way to a second victory. Chile were going to lose for the second game in a row, but Brazil would have a 100% record after two games. The full-time score was Chile nil, Brazil two, and both teams would be waiting for the results in other matches to find out where they stood in the preliminary stages. Mexico played Colombia next. All of the six teams in the competition would play five matches in the group stage, and after those five games, the top two teams in the table would qualify for the gold medal match. Mexico were playing in green, Colombia in blue, their star player, Juan Perez, scoring a brilliant goal there. Mexico's goalkeeper, Gurdio Martinez, disappointed to be beaten, but Colombia's support staff thought Juan Perez needed to celebrate that goal. Into the second half, and Juan Perez was going to show his brilliant dribbling skills once again. Mexico tried to outnumber Perez. And he took advantage, passing to John Gonzalez, who wasn't marked. That was a neat finish by Gonzalez. Colombia were now leading 2 0. And they had every reason to celebrate. They were heading for their second win of the competition, just like Brazil. With just over two minutes left, Colombia captain John Hernandez sent the ball forward. It was stopped by Mexico's captain Jose Cerizo. But now the ball wasn't moving in the penalty area. John Gonzalez moved in to take advantage. Brilliant play again. The shot into the roof of the net, and it was going to be the last goal of the game. A 3 0 win for Colombia, which put them on top of the group ahead of Brazil on goal difference. And those two teams, Colombia and Brazil, were scheduled to play each other in the next round of matches. Argentina were playing in the next match against Peru. This was the final match in this round of games. Argentina would need to win now to keep up with Colombia and Brazil. Peru had already lost to Colombia. This is Osvaldo Fernandez dribbling forward for Argentina. He beat Brian Bartolo, opening up a chance to shoot. And that was in the net. Fernandez's first goal of the competition. Peru goalkeeper Richard Gutti hadn't quite managed to keep the shot out, so at halftime, Argentina were leading 1 0. Into the second half, and Argentina were awarded a penalty. In this situation, a member of support staff taps the frame of the goal to help the penalty taker build a picture of the target. And the shot there by Maximiliano Espinillo was just wide. There was a similar chance to come for Peru. Francesco Perez's penalty saved by Argentine, the goalkeeper, German Mulek. A crucial moment for the goalkeeper preserving Argentina's 1-0 lead. The game was about to come to an end. Argentina had won for the second time, just like Brazil and Colombia. So those three teams were now in the top half of the group standings. Peru had lost twice, just like Chile and Mexico. All of the teams still had three matches left to play. This match had finished Argentina 1, Peru 0.